How to Make Divorce Less Traumatic for Your Kids If you have children and are planning on getting a divorce, telling your children about the divorce can be a very challenging conversation to have. During the conversation, it is very important to remain mindful of your children's emotions and to keep communication open. After the conversation, it is important to try to make the transition as easy as possible for your children, as discussed in Method 2. Method 1 Communicating Effectively with Your Children 1. Pick the right time to talk to your children. Do not simply announce your divorce to your children at any time, this can scar your child and make trusting you a challenge. Instead, take the time to sit down with your children at a time when you do not have any other commitments, so that you can take as much time as needed to explain the situation. Do not rush through the conversation, make sure to ask your children how they are feeling and what they are thinking about everything you have told them. Be prepared for intense emotions, your children may feel sad, overwhelmed, confused, or even angry. If you rush through your conversation, you are likely to heighten these emotions. 2. Pick the right place to tell your children. Do not tell your children about your decision in a public setting where they will have to deal with their emotions in front of other people. Instead, make sure to sit your children down in a quiet, private place where you can answer their questions. Make sure to pick a spot that does not have many distractions in it such as a TV playing in the background, or a spot where music is blasting. Choose a place where your children feel comfortable, such as the family room or living room in your house. 3. Choose your words wisely. Try to use a gentle and calm tone when telling your children about your decision. If you are having trouble, ask the advice of friends or family members who have had to have similar conversations. Consider rehearsing what you are going to say before you actually broach the subject with your children. 4. Consider including your partner in the discussion. Depending on your situation, it may be a good idea to include your partner in the conversation with your children so that they can see that you are both united in the belief that you should get divorced. Show them that you have both come to the same decision and that you will still work together to make sure that their lives are happy and filled with love. 5. Be honest. Rather than trying to downplay the situation, or make it more dramatic than it is, simply tell your children the truth. After all, your children will most likely be able to pick up on any false notes in your voice. Do not mislead your children, instead speak from the heart. You could say something like your daddy and mommy are not happy in our relationship anymore. We are not getting along well and we think that everyone will be happier if we live in different houses. 6. Keep your children's age in mind. The way that you discuss this decision with your child will also depend on how old your children are. Younger children are more likely to react to the news with feels of shock or sadness while older children are more likely to express their feelings, which may include anger. Older children will most likely ask more questions and will need more information from you. Older children may ask you questions about where everyone will live or how the family's finances will be affected. 7. Do not overwhelm your children with all of the other issues of divorce. Unless your children ask, you do not need to go into the details of your divorce during the first conversation that you have with them. Topics like moving, changing schools, or having a potentially new person living in the house with them can be saved for a conversation after they have had time to process the news about the divorce. Remember that this discussion will not be limited to one conversation, it is important to have multiple conversations about your decision as well as how it will affect your family. Method 2 Helping Your Children to Adjust to the Situation 1. Monitor your children's behavior after you have told them about the divorce. Show interest in your child's well-being by keeping track of how they are doing in school, what their social lives are like, 
and if they have developed any changes in their lifestyle. You may see changes in their behavior, eating or sleeping habits, social interactions. Talk to people that know your children well and ask them if they have noticed any changes in your child's behaviors or lifestyle. These people could include your child's coaches, relatives, or neighbors. 2. Spend quality time with your children. Show your children that you are there for them during this difficult time by suggesting doing things together. While some children may be resistant because they are upset by the divorce, other children may simply want to spend time with you. When you do spend time with your children, make sure that they know that they can talk to you about anything, including the divorce and how it makes them feel. 3. Remind your children that they are in no way to blame for your divorce. Some children may wrongfully think of the divorce as their fault. Make sure to remind your children that this is not the case, talk about how the conflict only lies with you and your spouse. Give your children lots of assurances that you love them in order to promote their feelings of self, worth and to keep them from blaming themselves. 4. Do not badmouth your spouse in front of your children. Your spouse may have hurt you and you may be very angry with him or her, but it is important to not voice these thoughts in front of your children, as it could be very upsetting to hear their other parent talked about in that way. Remember that your children love you both, even if you do not love your spouse anymore. Badmouthing your spouse can also teach your children that it is okay to say mean things about other people, which is not what you want to be teaching them at this critical juncture in their lives. 5. Allow your children to spend time with your spouse. You should still allow your children to see your spouse, as he or she is their parent too. Allow your spouse to continue to be a parent to the children in order to make this difficult time a little more challenging. Being told that they cannot see the other parent could make them feel negatively towards you. If your spouse wants to take them out, and it is a reasonable time to do so, such as after they have finished their homework, do not restrict them. When you send your children off, remember to say something to the effect of have fun, so that they know you are happy to see them spend time with their other parent. 6. Let your spouse maintain his or her parenting style. While the relationship you and your spouse have with your children may be altered a bit because of the divorce, it is important to try to maintain the same parenting style. Let your spouse show his or her care for the children in his or her own special way. This will remind your children that even though you are getting divorced, they still have their mommy and daddy, just as they have always had you both. 7. Show appreciation when your children show concern for your well-being. This is a challenging time for you too, which your children will most likely pick up on. When they give you hugs or kisses, make sure that they know you are grateful for their support. Say things like, thank you for asking me how I am doing, I really appreciate it. Remember to express your feelings about the situation truthfully, but in a way that won't upset your children. If you are feeling sad, just say that you are feeling sad because of all the changes that are happening. However, after expressing yourself, remind your children that no matter what happens, or how you feel, you will always be there for them. 8. Let your children have some say in their new living arrangements. When you start looking for a new place or begin the move, let your children help make some of the decisions. Listen to their suggestions about how the new home should be decorated and allow them to pick out things like their own bedsheets. Including them in the decision-making process may make this new home feel more welcoming to them, even though their other parent is not a part of it. 9. Take some time before entering into another relationship. Try to avoid rushing into something new, both for yourself and for your children's well-being. When you do decide that you are ready to get into a relationship, make sure that you are open with your children about what you are doing. Keep in mind that while they might like your new partner, they will always hold their other parent in higher esteem than the new partner. 
10. Seek professional help. If your children are having a lot of trouble with the divorce, or you are having a hard time communicating with them, consider seeking the advice of a psychologist or counselor. They should be able to give you strategies for how to talk to your children and address any negative feelings they may have. You should also consider talking to friends, family, and support groups that may be able to give you advice. Tips Try to include your partner as much as possible in the discussions that you have with the children in order to show that you are in agreement about this decision.